Hi everyone, we hope you enjoy this insight into the daily operations and some of the training that the canine unit and their handlers go through at Old Pajetta in Kenya. Road Royalty is committed to advocating change and supporting grassroots operations on the ground. Our brand has always been about frontline activism, it always will be. From the start, we have always tried our best to build products that will last for years, if not a lifetime. This itself throws down against the throwaway society in providing you with a product that lasts as well as being less taxing on our natural resources. By you supporting our brand, you're helping us take a stand and seeing things like Old Pajetta and our involvement manifest in front of your very eyes. We've always challenged and asked to think about things that need to be thought and got involved in fights that need to be fought when it comes to matters of animal welfare and sustainability. Thank you to everyone for supporting us. Thank you so much to Donna and Daryl from White Paws Professional Dog Training for having us on board and on the front line. Thank you very much to our road royalty family, Robbie and Jess, for representing our brand in the African continent. And I'd like to also end here by inviting each and every one of you to just think about how you can also be involved in activism on a daily basis. Every time you're spending your hard-earned dollar with a company, please research the company and try and invest in organisations and those companies that have your world and your family at heart. Not those companies for the sake of greed that would have your world fall apart. I'm not here to preach, just simply trying to reach. Think about it, please. Take care out there and thank you so much for supporting grassroots organisations like Old Pajetta or any other movement that betters our planet. Take care out there. Peace. In the past two or three years, there's been burgeoning demand for rhino horn in particular, but also for elephant ivory, as a consequence of which the prices of those two commodities has risen dramatically. What they're carrying around on their head, the horn, has varying values between sixty and $200,000 a kilo. This is what makes them such a target. What you have to remember is these poachers are armed and they're armed with the latest assault rifles because obviously as we move forward with technology and the value of horn goes up, they move forward as well. This has now become organised crime. And what we've currently got in training now is we've got a multi-role dog. What it does is first of all it will locate a carcass, the second thing it will then track from that carcass, track after the poachers and then it will apprehend if necessary. but also it's a fully approachable dog. But this is where um, a lot of trainers go wrong, especially with a dog that's naturally tenacious, they encourage the aggression. That's not what we want. We want a dog that is just going to apprehend and leave on command, and that's the crucial part of this. As they develop in maturity and they develop with their training, we can then put the aggression side into it. By then, there's a firm basis of control and there's a firm basis of enjoyment. A handler and dog is a team. There's companionship there, there's knowing each other. There's something very special there. They each have three different Malinois puppies because we've currently got a litter of 11 dogs at the centre. And each of the handler will get to know each one of those dogs. They learn their different traits, their individual talents and weaknesses, and they grow together as a team. They need to be looking out for each other. The handler needs to be looking after that dog and the dog needs to be looking after that handler. And that only comes through the bond that they form through training. When I first went to Old Pajeta, the one thing that struck me about them more than any, any other conservancy is their forward thinking. They want to move forward with new ideas and they realise they have to evolve with conservation and protection to keep ahead of the game. That was the main attraction for me and I'm very proud of my association with El Pajeta. It's They've taken on board my knowledge and experience.
but also I've taken on theirs. Even within sort of the last seven months I've been working with El Pajeta, it's grown tremendously. What I'd hope to have is a, t is a 10, 15 year plan in place where we keep moving forward and we keep evolving. Within 10 years, these animals could be gone. 